It is time to expose these scammers, baby. Let's get into it. Um, but actually first I need to go grab my iced coffee, so I'll be right back. All right, cheers. Let's talk about Instagram scams. Over the past decade or so, running a business has become increasingly easy, specifically on Instagram, which is definitely a good thing, right? I'm all for the democratization of entrepreneurship, and it's awesome that there are so many different ways that people can start a business nowadays. It's accessible to a lot of different folks, and there's a lower barrier to entry and lower overhead. Like, that's all good stuff. However, with this increased accessibility, we've also seen an increase in less than honorable business practices, shall we say? And these less than honorable businesses are taking over your Instagram Explore page. So welcome back to my series, Insta Scam. Yes, this is a series. It's just been months and months since I've sat down to film another one of these. In this series, I deep dive into different shady practices going on on Instagram. And today we are talking about the ever present question, boutique or drop shipping. You never know. So let's get into it. But first, a real quick definition in my view. A boutique is a small business probably run by 10 or less people with products designed and produced by that team, either locally or outsourced. Sometimes boutiques will source out products from different places, but the idea is they are intentionally chosen. These pieces tend to be unique, high quality, and the price point is generally reflective of that. This is not your typical H&M or Forever 21 type place. This is high quality, this is boutique. Drop shipping, on the other hand, is a really common online business model where business owners buy cheap products usually from like factory direct sites like Alibaba or AliExpress and then sell them online for a markup. This practice is most well known on sites like Amazon, but there's no reason that it can't be done on any like individual website like Shopify sites or whatever. So it's not just exclusive to Amazon. The main difference between these two business models, in my view, it's the quality and the source of the products. Two of the most important aspects, I would argue that the consumer would be interested in knowing before they make their decision about purchasing. Obviously people want to make sure that the quality of what they're getting is good, but more and more people are interested in the source and how sustainable or ethical the production of the product might be. So with that groundwork, let's play a game. Hi, and welcome back to Dropshipping or Boutique. I'm your host, Katie Sequity, and on this game show, we like to sniff out the scammers of Instagram. Let me throw a couple your way. First up, we have this little number, Arilla. Stay classy and radiant. Boutique, right? Wrong. This is a dropshipper. And number two is Browse Fitness. Looks legit, right? Lots of fit people there. Another dropshipper. Next up, we have this cool place, Hard Pressed High Quality Goods out of Saskatchewan, Canada, and this is a real boutique. Nice one. Finally, we have Marzi Jewelry Official. Sounds official, right? Wrong. This is another drop shipper. Thanks so much for playing, everybody, and remember to spay and neuter your husband. I mean, pets. Your pets. And we're interrupting your regular broadcasting for a short message from our sponsor this week. Skillshare. Why am I holding this when I have a desk to hold it? I don't know. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. Whether you want to learn about social media marketing, video creation, photo editing, or writing, Skillshare has all kinds of classes that will help you improve your skills as a content creator. Lately, I've been getting into the course called Creativity Unleashed, Hone and Share Your Voice Online by Nathaniel Drew, who is a YouTuber whose work I really enjoy. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you and it's less than $10 a month with the annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers who click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can explore your creativity. And herein lies the scam, my friends. You cannot tell the difference, at least at a glance. 
So what I'm saying is the reason why I think these types of businesses are kind of scammy is because it's people who want to cash in on the fast fashion cycle, but who also want to cater towards Gen Z's consumer sensibilities towards something that feels small, independent boutique. And so they create this boutique facade to cover up their drop shipping in order to make their products seem more appealing. And so they can make a huge profit margin off of selling cheaply produced products by pretending that they're high quality and independent and therefore charging this really boutique price for, you know, not great quality items. Now, when I talked about this briefly in Insta Scam episode one, because the scam that's going on there has a lot of overlap with what I'm talking about here, a lot of people in the comments were like, that's not a scam, that's just drop shipping. And while I would say that's true, like drop shipping is a legitimate business model if you're okay with destroying the environment for the sake of having, you know, really cheap products. What I'm really trying to point out here is not that people are drop shipping, but that people are trying to cover it up. It's just false marketing. It's disingenuous to try to present yourself as an independent small business boutique that's like custom making these clothes and then to turn around and sell stuff that you bought for 88 cents off of AliExpress. Some of these sites even wax poetic about their designer pieces and the high quality of their products and how much they're focused on craftsmanship and providing transparency in their production process. And it's just all complete bullshit. <laughs> and that's what makes it even more frustrating is like they're really co-opting the language of independent small businesses that actually do produce their own product create their own clothing, whatever, and they're using that same language, but that is not at all what they're doing or what they're offering. Instead, they're just ordering cheap stuff off of websites from factories, probably across the world from them. The point is in these drop shipping cases, the business model is that the product is essentially disposable. It is produced so cheaply with such low wages for the workers that they are able to turn a profit by selling it at such a low, low price. And drop shippers are basically taking advantage of that in order to turn a profit for themselves, which I get is very common. That is what H&M, Forever 21, all these stores are doing. But at least Forever 21 isn't like claiming that they're handcrafting their clothes. Obviously there's a lot of big issues with the fast fashion industry. I'm not defending them by any means, but there is just something particularly sketchy about these Instagram boutiques that sell themselves as like independent, handcrafted, and it is very clear that their items are not. The point here is the people, especially the teens of Instagram are being duped, bamboozled even, by these brands that are essentially selling dollar store quality items as if they were small batch handcrafted. So this brings us to an essential question. How can you tell the difference? It's important as a consumer to be informed about who you're buying from and then maybe whether or not you'd even want to purchase from this business. Obviously the point of this video is that it is very hard to tell for the average person. You can't necessarily tell at a first glance, but I obviously was able to figure out which is how I created that little game show for you earlier. So I'm going to walk you through my investigative methods of figuring out whether or not a boutique shop on Instagram is legit or not. For this example, we're gonna look at a little shop called Beliza Desires. Beliza Desire, I, you never know how to pronounce these things. Here's their Instagram page. Right away, there's a lot of red flags showing up for me. First of all, the very first line of their bio is backup account. Why would a regular business have a backup account? To me, this screams they know that something sketchy is going on and they're worried that their main account is gonna get taken down. So they're trying to like, you know, hedge their bets and uh, keep two going. Next line, enrolling ambassadors for phase three. Again, with the brand ambassador thing, check out the video that I did for episode one. Um, I explained the whole situation, but that is just like not looking good for them. Then the thing that's really weird is they say World Fair Trade Organization organization like where are your credentials where who is saying that you're fair trade like this to me just plays directly into this whole drop shipping site thing where they really make bigger claims and they are able to back up so many of these sites will say that they are designer goods or sustainable or that they care about the transparency in you know the um, production process or whatever and all of that is just you can just kind of tell that it's sketchy because it's way above and beyond what like normal people would 
be able to claim and it's just like very clearly fake. Um, anyway, if we scroll down here, it's all uh, consumer generated or like customer generated content, um, which like I was saying, it's fine to use that sometimes, but it to me, it just kind of looks like, um, do y'all ever actually get the products like in your hands? And like, who are you? Who is selling this? It's also weird to me that they seem to have started to like watermark these which is like sort of random. So you all know, if you watch other video, you'll know this, but I do not judge any of the people on here who have bought their products and therefore are now featured on the account. Like they didn't know they were probably taken advantage of and given like a really good discount code or whatever. So, you know, no shade to these people. Another thing is like, okay, so we're seeing like 280 likes, 400 likes, 400 likes, three comments, eight comments, that kind of thing. And they have 48K followers. So. Really, they should have a higher engagement rate than that, and they're also only following one person. So the whole thing is seeming off, but let's go to their website to like seal the deal. Okay, so we get here and, you know, looks like a, a website. There's nothing like, you know, overly wrong about this, but I do see right away ambassador portal. So clearly they are very focused on this whole like brand ambassador business model. And if you go here, it like talks right away about like, how much discount does my coupon give? How much do I get? You know, whatever. Um, it's yeah, just right away. Like, okay, they're clearly just like asking anybody to be an ambassador in order to just make a sale. So if ambassadors are getting 75% off and let's face it, the majority of their purchases are from ambassadors, clearly their products are marked up like to all heck because they don't need to cost that much if they're always selling them for 75% off. Okay, so why don't we look at some of their pieces and see if we can get a sense from their products, um, you know, what, whether or not they're legitimate. So what I like to do when I'm like looking through these to try to figure out if they're legit is try to pick an item from their shop that is like really distinct or has some like pretty easy like descriptors or search terms around it. So I think this would be a good candidate, honestly, because it's pretty, yeah, like pretty distinct or, or unique or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is actually open another tab and we're gonna go to AliExpress. Basically what I'm gonna search for is like coin pendant necklace with pearls or something like that. Or like, let's just try pearl necklace with coin pendant. See, this is why I choose something that's pretty specific because it might be harder to just search for like blocky gold chain or whatever. So we search for that. And what do we find as like the very first result? I'm not sure if this is the exact one. This definitely looks like it. Yeah, this is the exact same item. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. So anyway, as you can see, you can buy these on AliExpress for $1.75 US and over here on the Beliza whatever website, they're charging $54 for them. But for, for the most part, they're actually charging 75% off of $54. So anyway, I think you get the point here. With just a few clicks, like this just took like five minutes, you can kind of look around and get a sense of is this a legitimate like shop that's really like, you know, handcrafting these cute necklaces or are they just ordering them in bulk for $1.75 each and then reselling them at a massive markup? <laughs> now you can tell for yourself. Really the tough thing about all of this is that most of the pages like this that you come across on Instagram, you can kind of assume they're probably a drop shipping site because the fact is, it's way easier to start up a generic like drop shipping boutique than it is to build a legitimate small business. So the stats just kind of indicate you're more often gonna come across these sort of sketchy ones. But I really think that this huge uptick in sort of drop shipping fashion boutiques is all the more reason to do your research, make sure you're an informed consumer and really look into these pages before you order from them. Just make sure that if you think that you're buying from like a small business that you actually are and that you're not just getting duped into buying some like low quality AliExpress item. Like just make sure that if you're making a purchase that's just cheap disposable clothes that you at least know that it's cheap disposable clothes. Like if you're buying junk off Shein or Romwe or whatever, like you know what you're getting. Like it's, you know that it's like wish quality. You know what I mean? It's like these drop shipping sites want you to think that you're getting Big Bud Press and then you're really getting Walmart. So just make sure that you know what you're getting by being aware of the signs um, 
that this shop is likely just selling AliExpress stuff. At the end of the day, this is all about transparency and marketing and just being really clear with your customers what it is that you're doing. If you wanna say, you know, we're an Instagram page that curates cute stuff off AliExpress so that you can find it more easily than trying to search for it yourself and we charge a markup for that, you know what? Fine, but then just tell us that is the case. Anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Maybe you're okay with buying stuff from random drop shippers, but I just think it's all a little bit mm. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and also let me know if there are any other Instagram scams that I can do a deep dive into and do some research on and report back to all of you because I would love to do that. And as always, I hope you're having adventures and following your dreams and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.